Right, hello everybody. So, this isn't my normal sort of astronomy video. The reason for that being is I'm now making a trip to Manchester where I'm going to try and see Jodrell Bank. This is somewhere I've wanted to go for a heck of a long time and I used to see it all the time on programs like BBC Stargazing Live and so I thought, you know what, today's the day. So I'm driving there now and so hopefully we'll see what Jodrell Bank has to offer. So guys, <laughs> we finally made it to Jodrell Bank. This is a particularly exciting day for me because I remember coming here to Jodrell Bank many months ago, just when England was coming out of lockdown. And so to actually be here now is something of an immense privilege for me. But more so because that observatory behind me over there is what propelled my astronomy career. Things like this inspiring me into the world of astronomy. So then guys, we'll pop on over to the observatory now to see what Jodrell Bank has to offer. Right then guys, so we're now in the estate of Jodrell Bank, which is really exciting. We've just passed the main ticket office. And now we're about to go through the estate to see some really cool photographs from the InSight International Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition. This is one of my friend's photographs. Here she is. Oh, Alexandra, I have to give you a shout out. Wow. What a great image. So guys, they have some images here on display from the Astronomy Photographer of the Year. So I remember being shortlisted for this competition back in 2017 for my image, which was Glastonbury Tour and the Double Flash. So it's really lovely to see some familiar names on the boards. <laughs> There's some of the observatories just over in the distance, some of the radio telescopes. Just over here, wow. I love this. <laughs> this was an interesting observation, guys, as well. Because we're obviously at a radio telescope right now, you have to turn off your mobile phones. So this helps to not interfere with the radio wavelength frequencies. So I thought that was another cool little element to the visit. Oh wow, look at this. For the very first time. So what have we got here then? Let's focus in on that. So we've got the whispering dishes, telescope pathway, space for the area. Hey! Okay. We did it guys, we made it to Joshua Bank. This is such a lovely moment for me. I tell you, if there's any astronomers, English astronomers, you need to come and see this radio observatory. This is so cool. Look at this, the Lovell Telescope, it's absolutely humongous. And what's this information here then? Mm. 
So here's some interesting information guys to explain what's behind me here. This is called the Lovell Telescope and back in 1957 when this massive beast was constructed it was the largest steerable telescope in the world. That's amazing. But now by today's standards with telescopes getting even bigger it's now the third largest. <laughs> This is pretty big. <laughs> what made George Orr Bank so famous was its ability to detect a satellite called Sputnik. In 1957, it was the only telescope of its sort to do this. And this is what made George Orr Bank world famous. I tell you what guys, today's really got me thinking. You know, I've been developing an astrophotography portfolio for quite a while now, but as an astronomer as well, I've never really photographed observatories. Almost seems like common sense almost, but it's really got me thinking. So just bear that in mind for future videos. Wow, here we go guys, so I think this will conclude the end of this video. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on my adventure to George Hall Bank and as always, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my social media channels to follow my latest work and here's to clear skies and all the best.